very methodical, and we're just going to stay as long as uh, we need to stay. Was there violence that you guys are not being cooperative? You just sent out a statement that says you're not cooperating. It may be very difficult for him to receive your response. But well, we're not concerned about whether it's difficult for him or not. We're concerned that we're going to do whatever it takes to make sure that we collect all the proper evidence. Keep in mind that Mr. Baez would probably be the first one to say, if we left uh, and we left evidence behind there, that it's shoddy work. They just said, the judge said that himself yesterday. So, uh, no, we're going to be here as long as it takes. We're on our schedule, not on Mr. Baez's schedule. Specifically, are you guys recovering additional material evidence, forensic evidence, Every or is it simply, you know what, let's expand a little bit bigger area. We're expanding because we're finding things, and as we continue to find, uh, we're going to do whatever is necessary to collect this evidence. And when there comes a point that uh, we're no longer finding anything, then uh, we'll call it a day. Is it just bones you're finding? We're not going to specify as to what we're finding. Carlos, you heard about this woman who came up earlier in the afternoon and said, I searched this area, I have photographs showing nothing was here. Was anything mentioned in that because her statement was taken, her photographs were taken? I don't know about that. Again, you know, uh, people can go back and look at the, the weather report during that time. They can look how heavily uh, brushed that was. So, again, that I don't know. Uh, we actually I mean, have some video from August 5th. We went into the woods about 40 feet away. No water. Uh, a lot of debris, a lot of trash, bags and stuff. Uh, do we know an exact date when maybe cadaver dogs went in there and did, had no positive ID? Because our crew never smelled anything. Yeah, we probably can go back there and you know, back and look at the documents. However, regardless of all, all that being said, uh, the child was probably already dead at that time. So that's one thing that we have to keep in mind. And, uh, you know, uh, this is a child that uh, appears to have been dead during that time. And the mother, who's a suspect, never cooperated. We never got cooperation from the family or um, even Mr. Baez himself. You know, all that time we tried to locate this child, uh, even when it became evident that uh, the child was deceased. Pretty confident that the child's remains that were discovered based on the stage of decomposition, that it has been in that spot for five or six months? Uh, you know, and like I said before, you know, that's why I, I, I don't have the PhD after my name. Uh, I would be guessing at that point, and uh, that's highly speculative. You mentioned that the search area has been expanded. Can you give us an idea of how big it is and how you expanded it? I don't know how they expanded it in the sense that I can look at that, and I can tell you right now, and I think I said this yesterday, that uh, when I was here Thursday when it had the initial find, uh, you couldn't see, and I'm just guessing, 20 feet back there. Uh, you could look back there and see several hundred feet. I would say probably, and again, this is just a guess, uh, probably about half an acre, maybe to an acre. So uh, it has been expanding. And uh, probably, and again, this is roughly estimate, maybe 200 feet by 150 or 200 feet. So. Can you tell us how many people are now working this scene now? How many people do you have actively working? Well, this morning I was counting, and I was trying to keep count, and I know that this morning I saw approximately 35. And uh, I'm sure some of them have left already, uh, but they're going to come back, and um, they're going to use as many people as, as uh, need be. You know, there was talk about uh, the announcement that identification of the body will be coming soon. Any update on that? Anywhere from which kind of sheriff's office? No, I, I haven't heard that. I know that uh, one uh, report was that it was within minutes, and we never heard that. So, uh, you know, we're obviously in law enforcement. Uh, they're just as uh, uh, looking forward to, to getting the announcement as everybody else, obviously. And, uh, but again, we just don't have a timetable. Is it possible you have those results and just aren't releasing them right now? No, we don't have those results. Uh, right now, I think that that would be uh, somewhat irresponsible for law enforcement for us to have those results and, and hold on to them when you, know, you also have a family here that are trying to find out. And again, regardless of uh, what has been said and everything, we still uh, want to go ahead and extend our respect to the family. It does seem, uh, according to other forensic experts outside of this particular area, that tooth and hair DNA matches or no match would have definitely have been completed by now, i.e. the identity, whether it's Kayla or not, is known, and some wonder, is the ME withholding that announcement until you guys wrap up your crime scene? Those experts, they're not here, so, you know, they don't know what really is going on, except for the little bit that they see on the news, uh, so I'm not going to, you know, validate that. I mean, if they were here uh, and they said that, that's one thing, but just because uh, they're calling from other states and giving their opinions, we can all give opinions but uh, you know again now if that's the case I don't know that I can tell you that has it ever been done in the past that you're aware of that the medical examiner's office has worked in conjunction with an ongoing sheriff's department investigation to time the, the release of information I myself have never experienced that um, in my experience I haven't seen that 
That's not to say it's never happened. Thanks. Thank you. Tomorrow afternoon, you think we'll be done? I know they're shooting for that. And again, you know, uh, last Friday, I believe, they were shooting for Saturday. And uh, every day they've been shooting for, you know. Uh, I mean, obviously, on Monday, we knew that we would be here till today. And they actually had hoped that we would be done today. Uh, but again, you know, we have to be responsible. And uh, from the beginning, we've been very thorough with this. And uh, whoever this child may be, and of course, we're all assuming that it's Kaylee. And, uh, you know, that we want to be thorough. We want to make sure that we do things right. And, uh, and, uh, and that's what we're going to do. And that's what we have to do. And again, people have opinions as to, you know, should we rush it? And, and uh, this is uh, one of those situations. If you rush it and you miss it, we get criticized. If you try to do a good job, you know, you get criticized. So we're going to go ahead. If there's going to be an error here, it's going to be on the side of caution and uh, thoroughness. To help clarify why. Was this a productive day in the way of finding uh, yes, it has been. It has been, and again, that's why initially we had hoped to be out of here by today. And uh, as it turns out, we're going to be here tomorrow, probably all day tomorrow. To help clarify why it's so time-consuming and so meticulous, aside from finding evidence that's on, that's within the soil area, maybe you know under some uh, foliage, etc., what's the most unusual uh, location of something that has been discovered so far? I'm not sure that I understand the question. And Are you even, finding things in like knobs of trees? Uh, well, again, bushes, that, that was uh, on the ground. We talked about it before. We said that uh, there was heavily uh, undergrowth there, a lot of leaves, a lot of bushes, trees, poison ivy. Uh, we have one of our crime scene texts, I think I mentioned this before, that uh, pregnant and uh, poison ivy, and unfortunately for her, because she is pregnant, she couldn't take anything for it. So that just shows the uh, how they're endeavoring and the tedious work that's going on back there. Who were the experts in today? Uh, I know there was one, uh, the entomologist from uh, Illinois, I don't recall his name now, I believe his last name was Haskell, oh. and I think there was an anthropologist here also. What is the water wetness situation like back there now? I mean, are you still coming across muck back there? I don't know that, and since I haven't walked back there, I really don't know. I don't know if it is wet or not. Have you guys uh, firmed up any other plans with the property owner? Is he going to come and fence it off right away? Do you know anything like that? No, I haven't heard that either. Don't, don't know. I know you can't talk about what you found, but can you tell me, based on what you found, are you confident that you are going to find the person that put the remains here? Well, we're confident that uh, a positive identification, identification is going to be made. Um, now, again, not knowing all the uh, intricate things uh, concerning the remains, uh, you know, will we, I be able to say that uh, for sure that we know who did what? Uh, that, that needs to be seen.